Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiator. So previously we looked at how to use a pike according to Mountain Blade. Now we're going to look at how to use the rifle or musket with bayonet according to Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. Before I start, I'll just say I'm a massive fan of Napoleonic Wars. I do play quite often. Um, um, what we're going to look at here is how to use the bayonet according to Napoleonic Wars Mountain Blade, not according to reality. So the first thing you need to know about the bayonet in Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars is that it's an incredibly powerful weapon, akin to a lightsaber in the Star Wars universe. Um, it can bring down a man and a horse at one thrust. All you have to do if that horse is cantering towards you, could be a lancer, hussar, dragoon, cuirassier, it doesn't matter. If you've got your trusty um, bayonet and uh, musket or rifle, and usually it's a musket in Napoleonic Wars, this is obviously a later period rifle, you've essentially got two thrusts and only two thrusts you can do, either a thrust from below or a thrust from above. Either of them will kill a man and a horse with one stab outright. The man and the horse will drop dead at your feet. You won't be knocked over, nothing. The other thing you need to be aware of in Napoleonic Wars is that the bayonet does a huge amount of damage akin to a cannonball or a couched lance, this kind of thing. Far bigger than um, a sword thrust or a, uh, or a clubbed musket, for example. The stab from the bayonet does a colossal amount of damage um, and you know, can kill people straight with one thrust and a horse and a man in one go. Next thing you need to know about the bayonet in Napoleonic Wars is that it's incredibly quick. You can stab people very, very quickly, never get tired, it's not cumbersome. Yes, in reality these weapons weigh 9 or 10 pounds, but in the game it's incredibly quick, as quick as a sword pretty much, um, and you never get tired out from using it. You never slow down, you're always super, super quick at giving these thrusts, even at point blank range, even at a distance where in reality you couldn't really get your bayonet into someone, you can still manage to stab them somehow. Um, so super quick, not cumbersome at all, and doesn't tire you out. And the other thing to know about the bayonet in Napoleonic Wars is that you can outreach all kinds of opponents. So even if someone's swinging a sword at you, you can always stab them and not be hit by their sword. Despite the fact that your hand might be at sword length uh, distance from them, you can still stab them and they won't be able to hit you. Equally, even a lancer on horseback, you can stab them and somehow their lance won't reach you. Finally, two other big advantages that the bayonet in Napoleon Wars has over the real life bayonet and musket is that number one, it cannot be grabbed. In reality, obviously, any part of this weapon could be grabbed by an opponent. You can't grab things in Napoleonic Wars, so your weapon is pretty much impervious. It's like a lightsaber, it can't be grabbed by anyone. That's the number one thing. The second thing is you should be aware that you cannot thrust one-handed uh, like you can in reality. Unfortunately, in Napoleon Wars, you can't do this. But that being said, we've already said you can outreach most people, even lancers in many cases. So given that you can outreach them like this in the game, you don't really need to do that. If you could do this, then you'd probably be able to outreach a pike even in the game. So now I'm going to give you some tips on how to actually use this weapon in the video game Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. First thing you must know is that unlike in reality, you can't simply go stab and stab someone. This isn't deemed uh, possible within the game. In order to stab someone who's in front of you, instead of just simply pushing your weapon forwards, you must mer first move it a long distance to the rear before you're able to then push it forwards. So either you will go a low thrust, bam, or you'll do a high thrust, bam, okay? You must bear this in mind when you're fighting people because if, you, if you're going around with your uh, bayonet and suddenly you think, ah, there's an opponent right in front of me, I wanna stab them. You can't simply go stab, you have to go back before you can go forwards. Therefore, it pays great dividends to have your weapon ready loaded in the low stab position or the high stab position so that from there you can immediately deliver your stab. Also be aware of the fact that when you have a weapon loaded in Mountain Blade, very often you will inexplicably shout. Uh, but that's fine anyway. If you press the C button, you can shout things and you've got a bunch of other things you can say in Napoleon Wars, which is good fun. Often inappropriate and completely irrelevant to what you're doing. But nevertheless, uh, God shits on the Kaiser. So defending yourself or parrying with the musket and bayonet in Napoleonic Wars is dead simple. 
If you're opposed to another bayoneteer, so someone who's stabbing with something, this also applies to pikes, spears, um, even swords that are thrusted. You only have two parries you have to worry about. There is either low block or high block. Okay, and either of these will simply parry uh, the stab. If a person's stabbing from high, then you apply high block. If a person's stabbing from low, you apply low block. And that's right, it is held like this. It's not held in a more logical kind of parry position that might be up here or down here with the point forward. Indeed, they just hold it like a bar downwards or upwards with the point completely offline and pretty much useless in that moment. This will also work against lancers. If you're on foot and lancers are coming at you repeatedly trying to lance you with their lances, just stand there like this. And it will all day go parry, parry, parry. And you can parry until the cows come, come home. Next up, how to parry objects that are swung at you. Well, this is a little bit trickier um, because there are more moves to remember. Um, but uh, in terms of the thrust, if a person is using a sword, for example, and, or a, a club or a stick, and they thrust with it, it's the same as the bayonet, either high or low. But if it's a sword or an axe and they're swinging it from the side, simply block to that side or block to that side or block head. And it's as simple as that. So really there are only four blocks. Low block, outside block, inside block, head block. Um, and so long as you can do the right one in the right moment by moving your mouse and pressing the left button uh, at the right time and quick enough and in the right direction, very often um, you will notice that when you go for a head cut that accidentally someone goes like that. And it's because they moved their mouse in slightly the wrong direction. So you swing something at their head and they go like this. And get hit in the head anyway. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult dealing with swords but remember in Napoleonic Wars swords don't do very much damage. Um, they, these do about 50 million times more damage than a sword so don't worry about it too much. So finally how to attack with a bayonet in Napoleonic Wars Mount and Blade. So there are three basic ways that uh, you can use the bayonet that make it uber uber powerful, as powerful as a lightsaber in Star Wars, okay? And the first one of those is pointing your bayonet at the sky like this. And people often wonder, why are people walking around like this? And it is because when an opponent comes near them, they're holding the bayonet up in the sky, and then they inexplicably go Hoo! like that with the bayonet. And miraculously, this is almost unparryable. Um, they run up to stab them, and the person just goes Hoo! like that, and they're dead. They kill them, even a man and a horse in one go. Great attack, use it. The final two attacks are associated with, with each other. Spinning and lightsaber cutting. What do I mean by lightsaber cutting? Well, we all know that in reality, a bayonet only works when you're stabbing with it, okay? Yeah, you can get some edged bayonets that you specifically can cut with, but these triangular bladed bayonets don't cut anything at all, unless you're playing Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. Then you'll find if you miss with a stab, but in that split second, hook sideways, you'll stab the person anyway. <laughs> so if you're stabbing towards people, always do a twist like this, and you will hit people, even if you miss them. And finally, connected to that is spinning, everyone's favorite. So doing this repeatedly will kill lots of people, as long as you're going round and round, round and round in circles. I hope that's been somewhat useful. I hope to see you on Napoleonic Wars, Mountain Blade, mini siege server usually, really soon. I hope this instructional video on the use of the bayonet will be useful for you. Cheers folks! Thanks for watching, we've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers folks!